Spencer was speeding along towards Sodor to help Gordon with an important job. Another job with Gordon? Doesn't he know he's much too slow to keep up with me? But he took a wrong turn on the way. Hmm? I don't remember taking this line before. What is this place? <gasps> Tiny monkey engines? <laughs> this looks quite fun. I wonder if there's any other animals here. Was that a dragon? What is all this? Oh, well, I suppose I can admire some of your work. Ooh. Ah. Hmm. Interesting. Thank you, my little friend. That was very nice. <laughs> oh no you don't. I'm already a masterpiece. This is odd. These trucks seem to be moving by themselves. Huh? I say! Oh no! Help! Thank you for your help, but what I really need is a way to get back to the mainland. Huh? Where are you taking me? <clears throat> is this supposed to take me back to the mainland? Fair enough. How so? Sorcery is this? Help! <laughs> is that it? I'm like back to where I started. Oh no, that's quite all right. I meant no disrespect. Oh! <gasps> oh my, Spencer, are you all right? It looks like your paintwork was damaged in our crash! Uh, what? Who? Where? <gasps> Don't worry! I'll take you to our workshop and we'll have you repainted there! Repainted? <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Perhaps later.
I've had enough of little detours today. was excited. He had been sent to help with the construction of the new Olfstead mine near Boulder Quarry, and he didn't want to be late. Come along, you two! The job won't be done on time without me! Whoa! Please be careful, James! Yes, I've heard there's a strange boulder around here. even knock buildings down. Goodness, it sounds like my wrecking ball back at the construction company. It's not like your wrecking ball, Oliver. This boulder is dangerous. Ha! How can a boulder be dangerous? What was that? Rock slide! Oh. Points! Change the points! Oh no! Now we're going to be late! Meanwhile, Rusty was carrying workmen and supplies for the construction site. His friend Harold could see that he was worried. Hello, Rusty. Is something wrong? I'm just nervous, Harold. I think that all this noisy construction near Boulder could cause trouble. Don't worry, Rusty. You know more about that Boulder than anyone. And I'll be an eye from the sky just in case. Hmm. 
At the new Olstead mine, many engines and vehicles were hard at work. A mine shaft was being dug out, and everyone was running on time. Well, almost everyone. What? You all started without me? Good to see you, James, but aren't you a little late? A rock slide blocked our way. A rock slide? Was it Boulder's doing? No, it wasn't Boulder. Don't worry, Rusty. The rock slide was probably James's fault. I may have been a little late, but I can push more trucks than a little diesel. Hello, Rusty. How many trucks did you shunt today? Shh, James, don't be so loud. You might wake up the boulder. Oh my, it's real. And if you look closely, you can see the man in the moon. <laughs> Rusty, are the stories true about Boulder? Yes, they are. Years ago, a new quarry machine named Thumper set Boulder loose. It chased after me and Scarlowie. And it even charged at Reneus across our viaduct. After that, Boulder nearly squashed Percy. Ever since, we thought it best to leave this part of the island alone. That's the most ridiculous story I've ever heard. Well, it's true. And even if you don't believe it, we need to be careful. And quiet. is a dirty job, and a slow one, too. With my help, it can be a real blast. Stop! We can't use dynamite here. It might disturb the boulder. Then how can I be really useful when the work is going so slowly? Hmm. You're a fast engine, James. You can go fetch Oliver's wrecking ball from the Sodor Construction Company. What a good idea, Rusty! Now, James, my wrecking ball is very heavy. So please be careful with... He's gone, isn't he? Rusty can't tell me what to do. He's just a little diesel afraid of a rock. This gave James a naughty idea. When he arrived at the construction company, he asked the workman to paint a face on Oliver's wrecking ball. 
Rusty will be in for a surprise when he sees Boulder roll into the mine. <laughs> oh, this is heavy. Hello, Rusty. Look, the new mine shaft is nearly finished. Ah, it's nice to see that everyone is working safe and sound. Goodness, Boulder's loose again! I must warn the others! No, Harold! It's not Boulder! It's the wrecking ball! It's dragging me! Everyone, clear the lines! Boulder's coming! <gasps> Boulder! That's not Boulder. Clear the line! We have to stop James! Oh no! Sound the alarm! James, what were you thinking? If you hadn't pulled that silly prank, there wouldn't have been an accident. I'm sorry, Rusty. I didn't mean to cause trouble. going on hey hey don't leave me don't worry scruffy I'll get you out of here That? 
tough guy, huh? <laughs> Thomas, I think it's time to light things up a little. Yes, again! Look! Lost my buffers! Nah, it could have been worse. I must be safe by now! Oh, finally! Some quiet! James! Yeah! Nothing like a quiet day at the farm, huh? Actually, Percy... Ah... Uh, is there anything more relaxing? Uh... What's that? Run! <gasps> Wait for me! Better a splash than a squash. <sighs> tired. So, so tired. <sighs> oh. oh, Rusty. Hi, James. Rusty, I'm, I'm scared. Nothing's gonna stop Boulder. You'll just keep going till we're... Till we're... Oh! <laughs> I'm scared too, James. You are? Yes, but at least now we can be scared together. Come on, we may be able to lose him through the woods. <laughs> How long? The chaos that boulders cause, it needs to be stopped and fast! But how, Harold? If anyone can stop Boulder, it's you, Rusty! Me? Yes! You know most about him! You must be able to come up with a plan! Now come on! Dig deep! Dig deep? That's it! Okay, here's what we'll do. Okay, take cover, you two! Ready, Rusty? Ready! Yes! You did it, Rusty! It's not over! Look! Then we failed! Not yet! The engines and vehicles worked together to repair the damage and didn't stop working until the mine was complete. Thanks everybody for your hard work getting the mine ready. Hip hip hooray! 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 
thinks most of all to Rusty, whose bravery made everything possible. Thanks, James. But I couldn't have done what I did on my own. You need help to stop a boulder, just like you need help to build a mine. That's why we need friends. All of us. And with that, Boulder let out a happy sigh, which sounded like a whisper in the wind. Butch, the tow truck, was busy racing to the rescue. He had a busy day ahead. Ready for action! First, he had to tow Elizabeth out of some bushes. Oh, thank you, Butch. Yes, well done. <laughs> Happy to help. Next, he helped Thomas and Scruffy back onto the rails after their adventure with Boulder. Thank you, Butch. Yeah, nice work. Anytime, my friends. And finally, Butch had to take Sir Topham Hatt's car to a garage for repair. Oh, what a bother! Not for long, sir. That engine will be roaring and ready in no time. Thank you, Butch. You're a really useful tow truck. It's all part of the job, sir. Then there was trouble. What's that? After all that hard work, it was Butch who needed help now. <coughs> oh no! Who's going to come to my rescue? Hello? Search and Rescue Center? Yes, we need a crane right away. Not to worry, Butch. This will cool you down. Thanks to the team effort, Butch felt much better. It's nice to be a useful tow truck, but it's even nicer to have some really useful friends. Really useful indeed, Butch. You helped us, so now it's our turn to help you. Bright summer's day on the island of Sodor, but James was feeling grumpy. He had to take some trucks filled with very dirty oil drums to Wellsworth. Ugh, why does Sir Topham Hatt do this to me? He knows how much I hate pulling trucks. No matter, the faster I go, the sooner I can get back to pulling coaches again. Then there was trouble. Is that me? Up ahead was a faulty power pole. It was wobbling dangerously. James had to break to avoid it. He broke hard. So hard, he derailed his brake fan. Ah! It's gonna fall on me! James tried to back away, but he couldn't with the brake fan derailed. Then there was even more trouble. Ah! Oh no! Help! Help me! 
Don't worry, James. I'll call for help. Ah! Hurry! Meanwhile, at the Sodor Search and Rescue Center, things were a little less interesting. Oh, I'm so bored. I wish there was an emergency for us to attend to. I don't think you should wish for emergencies, Flynn. Still, it would be nice to have something to do while we wait for one. There's a fire on the mainline near Wellsworth! James is trapped! Right, let's get to work, Belle. I'm ready! flames had gotten any closer, my paintwork might have been seriously damaged. You're welcome, James. Flynn! Bell! I've just received word of another emergency at the clay pits! Here we go again. At the clay pits, Marion was in trouble. The quarry wall above her had collapsed and trapped her in the mud. Now the quarry wall below her was close to collapsing as well. Oh dear! Oh my! Bill and Ben were trying to pull Marion free, but they weren't strong enough. Bill! Ben! Cut down from there! It's not safe! Not until we've rescued Marion! Now engine left behind! Oh, thank goodness you two have arrived! You'll have to take the long way around to avoid those trucks! Right you are, Edward. I can't push trucks. But I can. And there's no time to lose. The quarry wall can collapse at any minute. But Belle hadn't shunted many trucks before. She wasn't very good at it. Done it? Well done, Belle. Heave! Well done, Belle. Well done, Bill and Ben. Don't celebrate just yet. Look! Luckily, no one was hurt, but the clay pits were in a very sorry state. Sir Topham had arrived to inspect the damage. Oh dear, this is terrible. That was a very daring rescue bell, but I fear your rough handling of the trucks may have caused some of the damage. I know, sir. I'm sorry, sir, but I've never done much shunting before. Well, perhaps it's time to change that. I'd like you to help clean up the clay pits. I'm sure Flynn can manage on his own in the meantime. Oh. Okay, sir. Meanwhile, James was delivering his remaining trucks to Wellsworth. He was still grumbling. First oil drums, then I get trapped in a fire. Can this day get any worse? We have to go to the clay pits now, James. You've got to be kidding me. What was that? Oh, I'm sure it was nothing. Come on, let's get this over and done with.
back at the clay pits, Bell's new assignment as a shunting engine was proving difficult. Oh, goodness, this is a lot harder than I thought. Just then, James bustled in. Here's James! Bell? What are you doing here? Is there an emergency? No, James. I'm here to practice handling trucks while I'm off duty. But they're being very troublesome. Just give them a good bump. That usually does the trick. I guess I'll give it a go. <laughs> oh dear. I'm sorry, are you alright? Whee! That was fun! Do it again! <laughs> Oh, don't listen to James Bell. Shunting troublesome trucks is a lot like fighting fires. It takes extra special care, and you must think before you act. Here, let me show you. Uh. So Edward taught Bell to shunt the truck slowly and carefully. And sure enough, the work went by quicker than ever before. After Edward's lesson, Bell took the loaded trucks of rubble to the waste dump. Is there an emergency? Hi, everyone! But Harold and Flynn didn't see Bell, and Bell couldn't go with them. She had to deliver trucks to the waste dump. Oh, back to work, I suppose. Welcome back, Bell! Is something wrong? It's nice to learn new things, Edward. But I miss being a rescue engine. Don't worry, Belle. Shunting trucks is just as important as being a rescue engine. Why don't you take charge of the cleanup while James and I take some trucks to Wellsworth? Of course, Edward. I'd be happy to. I'm not pulling another train until I get a wash down. My paintwork is filthy. <laughs> Later, Edward and James were shunting trucks at Wellsworth. Uh, not more shunting! Oh no! Not again! Help! Help! Edward! Call Flynn at the Sword Art Search and Rescue Center! No, James! Flynn is too far away! Out gets Bell! Whoa! Edward wasted no time. He knew Bell was the only one who could fight that fire and save James. Bell! Thank goodness! James! I won't be able to put out that fire until I move these trucks out of the way. Well, if you look at that. Please, hurry, Belle! The fire's getting closer! Down, James. It must be your lucky day. <laughs> <laughs> Just then, Sir Topham had arrived. Well done, Belle. I'm proud of you. 
You proved today that you're a really useful shunter and a really useful firefighter. Oh, thank you, sir. Maybe you could teach James a thing or two about shunting trucks. Bell, there you are! There's an emergency at the wharf, and we need your help right away! I'd be happy to help, sir, but maybe later. Right now, I'm on rescue duty. Bell to the rescue! Thank you.